Hello everyone, welcome to the analysis of the first day into bridge tournament. So congratulations to Georgie Giller and Ali Salvi um, with 59 or over 59% and Ivan and Lazar with 58. Kevin and Brandy, congratulations beating us uh, with Simon by a really small margin, but that might be um, because of a couple of boards. Uh, which were played and I will discuss. Uh, you can see that uh, the tournament is still running in a progress. There has been um, actually a very rare bug happening, so we skipped two boards. So we will see also in the analysis that two boards um, are missing. And that's also the reason uh, why you can find the tournament in the running uh, section and not um, in the completed. Um, so we will see if this issue can be solved with this particular tournament. It will probably not happen in the following ones. So for our scores, if you can see, um, we started kind of average, then we had a bad round, but uh, jumped ahead and there was a key bad round at the end. So let's go uh, through the boards uh, one by one. So board number one, and um, you see that this was either between playing for hearts uh, from south or north-south pair uh, or playing in diamonds in east-west. Um, the bidding can go actually um, quite wild, uh, whatever can happen. North is the first seed and this hand is really close to opening. Um, I mean in match points, often even in teams, teams uh, this hand might be opened with a spade because you have both majors, you have a void, you might not be able to show it later. So it definitely uh, has options to open that one spade. I decided to pass it and uh, wait for later. Now with East hand, that's a goulash hand 7-4. Um, standardly I like to open these hands high, but you have two aces and um, when the vulnerabilities are equal, then you just don't want to be uh, that high and just pre-sacrifice something which might be not there if it is a misfit. So I think one diamond is um, standard opening. Potentially you might open four diamonds in teams. I'm pretty sure that a lot of players will open this five diamonds. Uh, I kind of dislike opening this three diamonds because the strength is kind of huge. But in match points, uh, yeah, anything can work out in this particular hand. But in general, you should count your theoretic losers and bid on appropriate level. In the long run, that's worth the best. So either if you want to bid this constructively, open one diamond, or with, let's say, five theoretical losers, um, theoretical, like five to six, uh, it's four diamond opening. So if you open one diamond, then now there is an interesting overcall from south. So you can either do one heart, you can do two hearts, or you can do pass as well. Again, I think like all three options are kind of equal, all, all has pros and cons. Um, definitely overcalling one heart, you have nothing in hearts, so that's a problem. Similar situation with two hearts, but partner is a past hand and um, you want to make it a little bit harder. Anyway, you want to push opponents to third level, points might be 20-20 and you have a six card. I mean, yeah, you have the owners otherwere, um, elsewhere, so uh, pretty much depends. Passing is an option as well. So Simon decided to be two hearts. Um, yeah, which I like and standardly the agreement when partner is a passed hand is that the two hearts, two spades, um, jump and overcall over a minor can be wide range. Because basically that's where you want to be, two in a major and push opponents for level, make it a little bit harder. Partner is a passed hand. So standardly, um, North, the past hand should be only with a kind of a special hand. So after one heart or two hearts, um, I guess West has a takeout double, pretty standard hand, 10 high card points with a full card in spades. Um, that's the most standard hand. So now in North, you have a full card fit, two good honors and a void. So this is exactly the hand um, which is 
different uh, from the standard past hands so now you want to show it uh, you can bid three hearts but i feel that four hearts um, with nine high card points points might be 20 20 um, so four hearts is um, probably appropriate um, on this one a uh, pretty easy bid let's say from from west uh, with the seven card suit partner very often is balanced uh, for the double so five diamonds you just want to be there and now uh, Simon is south uh, passed with uh, a lot of defensive values and basically nothing in heart. So that's what happened at our table, uh, but other tables were otherwise interesting. Uh, card play is as well uh, quite nice because um, there was a hard lead. It might be a standard one because you don't want to lead a singleton king uh, for sure and partner bit hard, so that's a standard thing. And now from the declarer perspective, this board is um, really interesting because now the nine of hearts won by the king. So you can analyze um, the honors because North is passed and he jumped. So there must be a justification for that. And it's usually shape. And if North has like ace king in hearts, um, as a declarer, you see that there are three um three hearts only on your line so it seems like there might be five five six four um and south doubled so it's very likely that he has the third queen in diamonds uh but now the switch the direct switch um in clubs and my question here is do you switch when you see this dummy and you have like ace king and hearts will you switch outside if you have a king and it's, I believe, quite rare, so I don't think so. So there is a chance here when I play the club um, to catch the ace. If I don't play a club and I catch the ace of hearts, um, it might be a bit more difficult. Uh, yet, still, there is a slight chance that you can just randomly catch the ace. It's definitely a play against probability, but at the end, uh, you might leave that decision for later. Uh, what's anyway um, interesting, so if I play like this and I play the ace, how to play the diamonds? Because uh, where you can expect a shortness, both opponents preempted. But for me personally, I think that North um, might have even wilder hand because he's jumping after a past hand so i think the proper way here is to catch the ace of diamonds first because south doubled so it's more likely that south will have uh, the diamond queen and just in case it's third um you can just hook it this way so now uh declare has to do it uh this way draw the trumps and actually decide how to play how to play the spades but look what can uh, sorry how to play the clubs but look what can happen if you don't play the third round of diamonds and you play the spade first now south actually has to jump with the ace otherwise you will not see it and you immediately know a little bit extra about the hand and uh, what can he play now if he plays a spade uh, you might know that he doesn't have a queen. So most likely the best ex escape here is with the diamond queen, not to give up any other information. And that's very important very often, especially when one is a past hand and you try to figure out where all, uh, all the honors. So in here you want to play the queen, because uh, the queen is very often covered with an ace. Still... Um, neither north or south knows about a 7411 shape. Uh, it's not that easy to guess. So, north with the king very likely might just cover the queen. If you decide to finesse, you have to unblock with the 10 or the jack because you don't have other entries to play the second round of clubs. You have only one discard on the king of spades. Anyway, uh, in here, um, you might have all the indicators. Um, maybe including the shape that North discarded the spade on the diamond as the first card, 
it's very often the first discard is from a 5 plus card. So then you might uh, guess the distribution because you knew already a void in north and um, somehow it's only about the honors. So if you manage to cash it, you will be a hero. If not, um, I think it's uh, also fine. If you go down for 100, you will get an 80% score, uh, which will be just wonderful. So what happens on our table? Um, those who opens three diamonds might let opponents play in hearts. Um, here, Peter opened uh, one spade and uh, banned the computer, uh, overcalled two diamonds and then didn't bid at all later on. So that's um, just a confirmation that AIs cannot handle those goulash hands. And also for human players, it's super hard to handle these goulash hands because they come quite rarely. Uh, therefore, we have um, just few experience with these hands if you don't practice them, um, which people don't. So very tough to bid with them. Anyway, board number two, um, I would say a relatively boring board, um, just to get to three no trumps, one no trump, three no trumps, um, you get five diamond tricks. If you play the club finesse, you get uh, five club tricks and West is on the lead. So if West leads a spade, you have 12 tricks and um, it sh should stay there. Uh, I don't know why, but Ben actually let the seven of hearts um, against Peter, so that's uh, the best lead here, uh, which can um, kind of keep uh, the contract um, on 11 tricks or less, potentially, if you try a couple of finesses. Okay, well, <coughs> board free, and it was free no trumps, and yet again, an interesting lead here. See that free no trumps from north. Uh, was a standard contract, although you have a spade fit. So right now in the bidding, South is opening with one diamond, North bids a spade, South rebids two diamonds, and North somehow now uh, has a small problem. Uh, what to do with 12 count, Queen Jack, and those values. I personally decided to bid uh, free no trumps, and I was punished for that. Um, in the long run, it might be profitable. Uh, Stefan here chose the uh, free club uh, bid, just uh, he probably didn't want it to get a club lead in free no trumps, and he still investigated options uh, if partner has a free card spade. But very often, too hard bid uh, from North is called the third suit forcing convention, and just doesn't show four hearts, it might be just um, asking South uh, for the distribution for free spades, potentially for four hearts as well, uh, for a stopper, uh, plenty of options. So four spades at the end were the contract. But imagine you play free no trumps from North uh, after a different bidding. So let's just uh, watch our table. Um, diamond spade, two diamonds, three no trumps, you are on the lead. So probably you want to lead a club instead of a heart. Um, it's kind of 50-50 chances. Uh, but after one diamond, two diamonds, um, South kind of denied four clubs, he can still have four hearts. So club is definitely better. And the second thing is which club, if you decide the club. And... From these kind of middle sequences where you expect uh, that in three rounds you might draw all the top cards, you don't want to lead the fourth best here. You don't want to lead the fourth four. Um, so you want to lead the middle card and then it pretty much depends on your agreement how you lead from middle sequences. So standardly it's top from sequence so it would be the 10. If you have the coded 9s and 10s uh, which is a little bit easier uh, to find out uh, for the defenders, but it might give also more information to the declarer. So um, Honza here led the nine, which shows either the highest card or it's promised the 10 and a higher honor. So not the jack, but the queen, king or an ace. So now for uh, West, it was kind of easy to win with the ace uh, club back 
and unblocking the clubs, cashing five tricks from top and winning the board. If they don't do that, we have six diamond tricks, uh, ace of hearts and two spade tricks, so there will be nine tricks, uh, yet 400 was for 70%. See that the majority of players were in free no trumps and only two pairs managed to beat it. Two pairs led the fourth best and gave away the contract. Uh, board number four, uh, play in uh, one no trump. This is actually very interesting because one no trump can be played from both sides. And um, I was... Uh, uh, where do we start? We start with West. So West has 8, so he passes. I was sitting North um, with an opening hand, but with Miners. And when you have Miners, you expect that he will play either 1-0 no Trump, or you will play free in a suit. Because opponents might have a Major, or they will play 1-0 no Trump. And this is where it's really handy uh, to know the scoring. Because 1-0 no Trump uh, making 7 tricks scores for 90. While if opponents play a contract, you beat them, uh, you get a 100. And this is exactly the hand where it might happen. So look, if North... Uh, wait, I want to bid as well. How do I do that? Reset, no. Play... Uh, here, okay. So if it goes past one diamond potentially with four, then now East passes with 13 counts. He doesn't have a takeout double. He has a kind of a mirror hand with North, so he passes. And now South bits a heart and North bits a no trump. So you might end up in one no trump from North. Um, you can make now seven tricks, there's no problem, so seven scored. But what happened at our table is that the bidding went kind of the same. One club from East, because they play a preparation club and one diamond uh, would show five. One diamond showing four hearts, so transfer after a club which gives you a chance to show even a spade. But at the end East-West ended up in one no trump, and when you scored seven tricks, Look at that, 100 is 60%, where 90, um, well, that would be like 30% and maybe maybe less. So pass um, was good for East-West at the end. So board 5, and uh, we see that if you go a little bit too high, so if you go for a level, that can be a disaster for you. So... Uh, standard contract here, two diamonds, that's what can be made, two spades uh, from east-west on a 4-4. So let's just uh, have a quick look, uh, maybe not at our bidding, uh, but uh, we can just have a look. So north, north is opening um, with 10 high card points, 6-4. We're vulnerable, um, but 3, 4, 5, 6 theoretical losers. That's a hand where you want to bid first, because if you pass, uh, you can expect that opponents will be in some level in spades, and it will be very tough for you to bid. So I think that this is kind of a standard opening, even on 10 count. It follows the rule of 20. Uh, we have all the points in long suits. You just add two longest suits uh, and add it the length. Uh, to the high card points in those so 10 plus 10 is 20 once you have 20 uh, You can open one level um, Then 10 high card points 4 4 4 1 uh, non vulnerable in match points. This is a um, Kind of a must take out because you want to push opponents for level So this hand should take out double now south has eight high card points and now if he bids a spade uh, that's what breaks the option for East-West to find a two-spade contract on a 4-4 fit. So after a spade, uh, you see 11 count uh, with East, so I will bid one no trump with that hand, and North even vulnerable, uh, I will bid two diamonds here. And it probably uh, might just go uh, all pass unless uh, West feels feels for doubling. 
Anyway, two diamonds can be made. Uh, at our table, uh, the bidding went higher, and um, yeah, we we got a gift at the end. Uh, board six. Well, I wouldn't go through this board much. It's kind of a standard three no trumps, so most of concentration. So board seven and eight. Uh, that's actually the the issue round. Uh, where a small bug happened, so we didn't play them, and we jumped ahead to board 9. And yet again, uh, let's have a look against uh, competition, a potential competition on high levels. So I'll just show our tables, our table here, we played against Joram and Stefan, uh, which are really good players, so as North, I actually decided to pass 12 count. Um, we are non-vulnerable and I have all the queens, so I just didn't want it to play free no trumps uh, with only queens, because it's guaranteed that you will miss um, four top honors if you have around 24-25 high card points, and you don't have the tempo to establish diamonds, and if partner has, has those, like ace-king, then uh, you probably lack something, so I passed a 12 count. Now, East doesn't have an overcall or opening with 5-5 five, five, um, vulnerable, and now my partner, to my surprise, opened one diamond. So, uh, West uh, with 13 high card points and a 6 card overcalls two spades, and now is my time to show the hand, and uh, I bet two spades, because still, even if partner has ace-king and one more ace, uh, we have only 7 tricks, the finesse is possibly will be off, so we probably need two spade stoppers. So that's why I bet two spades, ask if partner has a spade stopper. Uh, that kind of um, gave away the option for East uh, to raise partner. So maybe East might double here uh, with three card spades, but again, the vulnerable vulnerability in match points going third level and go down for 200 is just super risky. So I understand that Stefan passed here. Uh, Simon has a minimum of three diamonds and you have to stick to the evaluation from the beginning. So at the end, we played three diamonds for 70%. Um, I think great score. It was quite hard to get in spades. We can just have a look here. One diamond, two diamonds and three spades jump. Um, well, which made it a little bit easier, vulnerable. Um, it needs balls, but it's it worked out uh, quite nicely here to find unbeatable four spades. Uh, board 10, an interesting slam bidding. So, so let's, let's just play from the beginning. So Stefan here passes on east, uh, south, has 16 high card points, standard one hard opening, and now the question is if you get a Michaels or not. Two, four, six vertical losers, but partner is a past hand, so when you bet two hearts here to show spades and clubs, you have to be ready that partner will try to sacrifice uh, over four hearts, and six vertical losers uh, might be justified, uh, because if partner just covers you one, uh, you lose five tricks if you are able to establish uh, the side suit. So if you lose five tricks uh, in in a contract on fourth level, you go two down. Two down doubled is only 500, while uh, four hearts is, um, is uh, over 600. So that would be a good sacrifice. So I think this is a reasonable uh, two, heart, two heart Michaels bid. And now as, as North, well, suddenly you have a super hand because you can expect partner has short space because you have spades behind. You can expect the opponent's side suit is clubs where you have singles and ace. So suddenly this hand can cover a lot of losers and four card fits can give a tempo. So if partner has diamonds or longer hearts, um, this sounds like promising. So after this um, two-seater overcall, you have plenty of options. I think uh, at our table, uh, Yoram overcalled a spade or something. 
but even if you bid two hearts, you have the two spade bid, uh, you have the two no trump bid, and you have three spade bid as uh, splinter. Um, my suggestion is if you have two bids, so Q bid of opponents known suit, or uh, or and two no trumps, then whichever is lower is based on high card points, whichever is higher is more based on shape. Uh, the important is the importance is to prepare for bidding on the fifth level. And this is what people forget in the early stages of bidding. And then they struggle knowing if we should let opponents play, if we should double them, or if we should overbid. And uh, just this distinction can help you. Um, very often people distinguish between three card fit or four card fit. Um, that's not a good one because sometimes with a three card fit, uh, you want to bid if you have a good side suit. Sometimes with a four card fit balance hands, uh, you don't want to bid because all your winners will be um, won anyway with honors. And if it is like invitation or forcing to game, there is not such a difference. Already when you invite, we have the majority of points. But when we have the majority of points, the important thing is that we don't necessarily uh, need to win the board. Opponents might have goulash hand as well for that, and they can make a game even on fifth level on 18 count. So, have defensive values or not, this hand has super defensive values, so I would bid two spades here to show a good hand with a hard suit. So now, um, there is no bid here, and now South can bid a side suit here, because he definitely has extras. So if you get three clubs, um, now um, North can continue kind of Q-bidding and um, you might end up uh, with a key card asking five diamonds, zero or three. If if you do that, uh, it might even be uh, five no trumps if you have three key cards plus a queen. Uh, but for North, if you get three key cards, like both Aces and King of Hearts, that's kind of enough of you for you, because a lot can happen here on this board. So you have only 13 high card points. The Queen of Spades is most likely useless, but uh, you will get a couple of uh, club roughs, and the Diamond King might be helpful uh, with the 10 as well, uh, because you also know... Uh, the distribution here. So you end up playing six hearts. Uh, not from this side. No. That would be a disaster. But anyway, so that's the first thing is the bidding. The second thing is the card play. So now Easy is on the lead. Um, it's a tough one. You don't want to lead a spade here. So you probably lead a club, either the queen or a low card. It might be quite equal because um, everybody is short. So I might even just um, go with the fourth best or whatever is your agreement. Um, so something like low. But at the end, um, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, you might as well lead a diamond, diamond through. Um, yeah, south shoved clubs, um, that's true. So maybe I will show this uh, after a diamond lead, uh, how to declare the hand. But this might be... Uh, very crucial here as always when you have um, when you are declaring a trump contract think losers from the long side so where you have longer trumps that's the long side so you have a spade loser no hard loser most likely if you just um, if hearts breaks reasonably you don't have a diamond loser and you have three clubs one is covered with the ace, and you have to get rid of two of those. So you can either rough both, or uh, you might discard one on, on the spades, because you know where is the five card spades, either after one spade over call or two hearts over call. Um, that's, that's like a great chance. So if you duck this one, uh, then now when you see uh, this dummy, and you have queen jack, and that's what Stefan did. You don't play the jack. Um, you are not like deceiving your partner if you play the queen here. It's more like deceiving the declarer that he might just play the finesse there as well. 
So here you win, and you know that you need to rough the clubs. But maybe before that, uh, you would like to draw the trumps. Um, so if you can discard one and rough one, it seems like easy that you just catch the heart, but suddenly uh, they show out. So what you can do is still you need to draw the trumps and rough the clubs. So you can either play a club and now cross to the south hand uh, potentially uh, with uh, with a hard finesse. Rough the small club, don't catch the king here. First of all you want to keep the control, second of all you already see the void and if you know about the two suitor uh, you can expect bad breaks, so don't catch the king, because if you try to rough the third round, you will get over roughed. And if you do it like this, now you catch the last trump, which you could have done before, it kind of doesn't matter, uh, you can cross uh, with the spade, which uh, you have to, hope that spades, spades break, uh, draw the last trump, and now see that you still have the king of clubs entry and you still have the diamond control. So you need to establish the spade here, the spade queen on which you will discard the club. If for whatever reason this doesn't work out, you still have a chance that when West guesses the trick, he cannot play the diamond. He probably cannot play a spade because you still have one more trump. So he might need to play a club, if he has one, and you win and you still can play the diamond finesse or you can still play a squeeze. So plenty of options, very interesting boards here for a card play. Two pairs made, three pairs um, or four pairs didn't. Uh, this pair stayed in four hearts as well and didn't find uh, the right play for 12 tricks and uh, top score. Board 11, uh, not such an interesting one, um, yeah, it's just that you need to stay low if you open a 19 count uh, from south one club, that might be the final contract, so whatever is your decision, one club, one diamond, and uh, my system, when you have a four card major, I prefer to open one club uh, basically with any shape, because after one club, one major, you have the free diamond bid to show a four card major fit. So that's uh, that's very important. While if you open a diamond, partner bids a major, you don't have that unexpected jump to third level. So um, you don't have the bid. And I like to keep free no trump, for example, what uh, Funbridge uh, or French people play that the free no trump jumps shows 18 19 in a natural system you jump to four in a major now you kill a lot of options for a slam so free diamonds is by far uh, the best race in this situation board 12 that was actually interesting and you see we had a complete bottom because we were the only one who didn't reach the uh, game and um, that was my doing but if you look here the minimax is actually 200 for east-west. For north-south we scored 170 and yet it was a complete zero. So very interesting board, um, vulnerable against knots and you are in the north, north seed with eight spades, a goulash hand, um, kind of five and a half um, theoretical losers because with an eight card fit you don't you expect to draw the trumps in two rounds so you don't need to count the queen as as a loser so it's on the edge anyway the partner can cover those losers only with very specific honors and it's very hard to decide like what to open with gulagens i like to be high so probably in imps i might open four spades but in match points if you open four spades very likely you will just play it um, you might just go two down for 200 and opponents have nothing. So um, it's okay to open this one spade because then it will be two spades, three spades, four spades, no matter what. So that's fine as well. I decided to uh, play a little bit around and wait what will happen. Uh, see if partner opens 
Um, then I have an easy four spades. If opponents open, they will not give me eight card spades, so maybe they will dis misdefend. Um, there might be an option, so I pass. Definitely do not open two spades with this hand. Uh, three spades on the edge, uh, but as I said in match points, you just need to hit the, the right thing. So I decided to pass. Uh, here, East, Peter, um, my student opened uh, one diamond on a 10 count, third seed, absolutely. Uh, okay, opening, three good honors. Uh, South passed, and now Franta with 11 count, somebody might open this one club. I'm not like a big fan with doubleton queen uh, bad values, but of course can happen. Jump to two no trumps, um, normal bid, I bid three spades only, because um, opponents shoved 22 count, so I cannot expect suddenly partner covers me a lot of uh, losers with the hand. So I end up playing three spades, and at the end, you see that partner has the king of spades, so that covers you immediately both spade, lo spade losers. Uh, you lose three aces, but the jack of hearts uh, is on side. If the jack of hearts wouldn't be on side, four spades on a best defense is down. Uh, while um, three spades will be a piece of cake. So at the end, I think I hit the proper. Uh, level, uh, but compared to the others, it was an absolute zero. So some people open four spades, uh, some people jump to four spades after one club, um, all fine. Um, there was also like competitive bidding after three spades opening. Um, yeah, plenty of options what can happen with goulash hands. Usually people go um, to four, fifth level. On the board, number 13, uh, spade fit from east-west, uh, but a very uh, very tough hand here. So, 6-5, goulash hand, three losers, what to do with this hand? Very difficult if you don't have like any special uh, bidding. I probably would open two clubs strong. Uh, and then jump to three spades to show that I have a solid spade suit with a shortness. Uh, but having a void and small doubleton, it's tough to bid uh, slams. So it's okay with one spade. Um, here Franta made a mistake because he was tired to pass three clubs. Um, I guess normally he would not, uh, he would not do that. But he felt uh, that when he bid two hearts, I guess, uh, promising ten points. Now he has a minimum. So he saw the misfit pass three clubs. I understand in match points, um, you might have second thoughts. So also from East, you think you bid uh, a forcing bid with three clubs and now it get passed. It can happen in match points. It should not happen in imps, this. You just rather go down from a game if you already made the decision uh, to bid two hearts. But uh, since... South kind of with the takeout double uh, promises for hearts. I would just go 1 0 Trump uh, with West Hand. So once pay double 1 0 Trump. Um, then I think Peter will just jump. Or with East Hand, you just jump to four spades, which might be a standard contract. Yet in free no Trumps, opponents can cash uh, free tricks. Um, actually, even more if you don't uh, guess the clubs. So. Uh, Still, four spades, better than three no trumps, better than a power score, but as I said, a little bit misunfortunate. Okay, and the last board of the segment, uh, fight for a part score. Uh, see here from the double dummy analysis that uh, two spades from south, but three clubs from east-west um, is, um, is the best bidding. So if we just go from the beginning... Um, nine high card points is a pass. South is super weak. Now we have 13 count, so one club is a standard thing. North, 16 high card points, I guess. A standard no trump with two stoppers. And now, um, does East has a bid. Pardon open a club on third level. Depends if you play two clubs on majors. Um, it would be my bid, these two clubs. 
Uh, but um, if you play it with both majors, you might just as well as well pass the hand. And now with south, if you can do natural, I would be two clubs. I will not let opponents play in one no, um, non vulnerable. So now uh, you might just transfer to your heart suit, or if you play, um, if you play, wait. How do I undo? Okay, here. Sorry. Or if you play the garbage tame and you might just ask with two clubs and if partner bids two diamonds, you can bid two hearts. If that shows a weak hand, um, it's probably a good agreement um, after a no trumming and overcall situation, especially if you are a past hand. But it really depends how you play it normally. You should stick to the same thing just to simplify things. Only with the long-term partner you might do these kind of adjustments based on the position, if you are passed or not, based on vulnerabilities, um, maybe an opening, minor, major, there are big differences, uh, but you really need to be agreed there. So at the end you might end up two hearts, two spades or one of Trump. It's quite hard for East West to get to free clubs, uh, so for those who did let's see how one club double from north three clubs that's understandable uh, one club one no trump three clubs um, again opposite um, club from doubleton this might be a little bit tricky but yet um, it's match points you are non vulnerable you expect opponents to play into in a major it can work out okay well so that was it um, really nice boards uh, at least some of them and i enjoy it as usual and i'm looking forward to see you in the next tournament so take care guys and uh, see you at the table